Hey everyone, it's Amber from Down the Rabbit Hole, and it's that time of week again for another In My Mailbox. I've got, again, a lot of stuff to show you, um, so I'm going to get started. First up is a book I got from the author. Uh, Courtney King Walker had approached me because I put her book on the fringe, which you can see here, on my wish list, and she asked me if I'd like to get a copy to read and review. So she sent this for me for a late Christmas gift, which I thought was super sweet, and I can't wait to read it because this book looks amazing. So I'll be getting to that as soon as possible. And then a lot of this other stuff is all from HarperCollins, so I'm going to get started because there's a lot. Um, first up, I got a second copy of The Last Echo by Kimberly Durding. If this is something that you want to read and you're a southern blogger, you can go over to Southern Book Bloggers uh, Blogspot, which I'll put a link down below, and uh, sign up for this tour once it goes out, because we're going to be doing that. So that's kind of exciting. I can't wait to see. And then um, I got another copy of Glimmer by Phoebe Katsandis, and this is like, oh, it's kind of crazy. This is like the third copy I've got. So this will also be going up on tour, and I'll be giving away, away a copy too, so look for that. And then I got a finished copy of Forbidden by Siri James and Ryan M. James. And this is a son and mother-son mother -son team. They wrote this, and that's really kind of fun. So can't wait to dig in. And then I got a finished copy of Hallowed, which is the second one. The first one was Unearthly by Cynthia Hand. And you can see this is, like, gorgeous. The first one was, too. I haven't gotten to read the first one yet, but I will read both of these really soon because I've heard good things and I want to meet Tucker. And then I got an Arc of Slide by Jill Hathaway and I like, I squeed when this one came. I was so excited because I'd actually read, uh, read like a beta copy of this um, and I made some remarks so I'm interested to see if they made it in and what was strange so I can't wait. And then... Last but certainly not least, I got Partials by Dan Wells, and this is an ARC as well. Ooh, look at that in the back. Remember, 22812. Um, I've heard good things about this one. I'm, I'm not too too sure what it's about, but I'm definitely going to read it. Uh, I've been into the sci-fi stuff, so can't wait. Partials. And then I got one book on Amazon.com this week and it was a pre-order of the statistical probability of love at first sight. Um, I've heard good things about this one. I've wanted to read it for a while. I actually got two copies of it because I gave away one for Christmas to a friend. So, got that in. And then I went to the bookstore because I think a lot of us did because of this book right here. Blood Rose by Andrea Kramer. It's the last in the Nightshade series. Um, I love the first one. I haven't read the second one. I heard it ended on a terrible cliffhanger, and I didn't want to wait because the first one hang uh, ended on a bad cliffhanger, too. So I had to do it. So I went and bought it, and I'm very excited. And it's got the pretty pages, which you can't see here, but they do. And then while I was there, I picked up Maria V. Snyder's Touch of Power. Um, I loved her other series, Poison Studies. Uh, Yolanda was awesome, so I wanted to read this one. Cover's pretty. And then my friend gave me a belated Christmas gift, which I just got today, which is kind of cute. And it's a $15 gift card to Books A Million. So I can buy even more books, which is great because I just finished Under the Never Sky and Fracture, which we'll be seeing reviews of soon. And I love them both, like, a lot. <laughs> probably no not more than I should definitely as much as I should have because they're both great books so I will purchase those with this so that's what I got in my mailbox this week I know I went through it kind of quick needed to though um I don't know what did you get in your mailbox